Okay, so I'm going to show you how to edit a photo gallery. We've seen this page uh, plenty. This um, is a listing of the photo galleries, and you can't change anything um, on this page. It simply pulls information from each individual photo gallery. So we're going to want to change this text, um, but you can't do that from this page. You have to actually go to the photo gallery itself and make your changes there. So I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and hit edit page. And uh, this is actually very simple. Um, there are maybe four or five items that we're going to configure. Um, first, let's take a look look at the page in general. Um, the section over on the right, uh, you never have to worry about. This is an automa automatically generating uh, list every time you cre copy a uh, um, photo gallery and uh, create a new one, it will appear on this list. Uh, likewise, this is just a title, you can edit that if you want. Um, this little section, the description of the uh, individual gallery, is just a vanilla um, content area. Uh, same thing you've been using all over the site. So you can pop in here and edit anything you want there. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that right now. Um, the gallery itself is a different type of content block. So when I click edit, we see uh, edit uh, ambient image gallery. Um, rather than your normal uh, content area or something. Um, this sets all of the uh, parameters for all of the photo galleries on the site. Um, each, uh, each gallery will use different uh, file sets for images, um, but some options like uh, zoom mode, slide, thumbnail, etc. are uh, appear to um, be shared throughout the different galleries on the site. Um, images, of course, is going to be separate, as is um, gallery options. Um, images is the only one that you're going to need to tinker with. This uh, tab, and it's the first one that comes up, is where you set which um, images show up in the slideshow. The easiest thing to do, of course, is to um, use images from a file set. And we create these file sets uh, through the uh, file manager. Um, you've seen that. We've got Ice Cream, uh, Power in Greensboro, Renovation already set up. Um, and I named those photos colon, uh, just for clarification. Um, if we want to change to a whole different um, uh, file set for the a image gallery, which is exactly what you want to do when you copy and duplicate an existing image gallery in order to create a new one. There was another video on that. Um, you'll want to select a different uh, file set. Um, if uh, you don't have to use a file set if you don't want to. Um, you can add individual images. Um, this will take you to the file manager. You can click uh, the pictures you want. I want these three and this drop down. Uh, you just select choose. It comes back here. Now you've got three these three images. Um, in fact, I'll update that so we can see it. <coughs> So those five go away, these three come back, that works fine. Um, generally, uh, you're going to have enough pictures in each slideshow that it would be kind of a nuisance to do individually. Um, and just for organizational purposes, it's much neater to uh, leave them in a file set. So I'm going to change that back. There, there. OK. So that's basically all there is to changing the uh, photo gallery page and the images. Um, now, let me go back to another browser. You see over here, um, one moment, 
that uh, we haven't seen where this uh, uh, text shows up. If we take a look at uh, this page, this text is not the same as the text being displayed here. In order to change the, uh, the description of this photo gallery, um, we need to change the properties of the photo gallery uh, page. So I'm going to switch back to our active uh, uh, page, uh, actively editing. Um, this can throw you off. This is not necessarily the same text that you're going to see on the description page, which is a good thing. Um, if, uh, if you want to put in, you know, many lines of text here, you don't want that to show up on the description page. You want it to be uh, short and concise. Um, <clears throat> if you want to change it, click on the Properties button. Um, this is a list of all the uh, properties for this page. Um, this is not just uh, the settings for the photo gallery. This is uh, the settings for this page of your website. So you can rename it, and this name, Ice Cream Social 2010, uh, is reflected in uh, the title of the page in the browser. Um, this description um, is what we're seeing on the um, uh, summary of photo galleries. Brief description of the Ice Cream Social page. Uh, click the Properties button brief description of the ice cream social page, click the properties button. So anything you change here is going to be reflected um, on that page, on the uh, home photo gallery page. Um, the only other thing <coughs> you need to do here is uh, under page and pa uh, page paths and location. Um, if you duplicate ice cream social 2010 um, in order to make a new uh, photo gallery, uh, the system automatically names it something like Ice Cream Social 2010 2 um, or something along those lines. So you'll want to come in and uh, correct uh, this title. Uh, and just for reference, whatever you put in here is what uh, users are going to see um, up here in the uh, uh, address bar. So, um, so let me jump back to the other page, and all you need to do at that point is hit save, save the page properties, and then you can just exit right out.